street ball on asphalt or concrete. No matter where you play or what surface you play on, you must be in shape to play the game. Basketball is a wonderful game. It requires quickness, speed, fundamentals, and a strong desire to play. But being in top shape and the willingness to withstand any physical contact separates the men from the boys. During the 1980s, basketball was fun and a way to stay in condition for young men in and around the Wake Forest area. Some played league ball, some played high school, and even some took it to the collegiate level. But the one thing they all had in common was where they got started. Paint or chalk, it doesn't matter. Just line the court off and play ball. Dirt ball, that is. Most basketball players got their start on dirt courts. Fancy moves of just perfecting their game was the standard. Gerald Melton was the ring leader. Melton's shooting skills along with his desire to win set the bar high for all players. Physical play was the norm for the dirt courts. The courage and toughness to withstand this punishment was necessary for survival. If you want to be the man, you got to beat the man. One player who demonstrated this style of play and made it his point to be the man was Mark Haley. Some called him cocky, some called him arrogant, and many called him worse. But Mark Haley proved he was worthy to be reckoned. At 6'2", Haley could go inside or out. It really didn't matter, but his outspoken personality and ability as a leader was his trademark.
John Dupree, another boisterous player, led the Youngsville group. Dupree was a vicious competitor and refused to back down from anyone. His tenacious defense and creative passing was his strength. Dupree's sidekick was quick hands David Avery. Avery had a knack for being where the ball was and could put points up quickly. Rebounding has always been an important part of winning basketball games. Whether on the offense or the defensive end of the court, it is critical that winning the battle on the boards usually brings success. Positioning and boxing out are extremely important in rebounding. Youngsville product, Timmy Bailey made rebounding an art. Bailey's wide body frame also allowed him to have a strong inside game as well. Mr. Hobbs Hill, Frank Hobbs, was a jack of all trades on the court. Inside, outside, rebounding, and defense, he had it all. Shot blocking. There ain't nothing more satisfying than a rejection. Dunking wasn't an art. It was just you could or you couldn't. Dunking Donnie Rogers was the king. On the dirt courts, it was very rare to get a dunk during the game, but when you did, you celebrated. Scoring, the ability to create your own shot, the ability to drive to the basket, the ability to follow up if necessary, not to be afraid to drive. There's many ways to score. Just score, baby.
another way of getting points was from the free throw line. Not every player shoots with the same form, but a point was a point no matter how you shoot. No one had a nicer jump shot than John Blackwell. Blackwell could fire from anywhere on the court with amazing accuracy. Other than Blackwell, Gerald Melton also lit up the nets with a vengeance. Players such as Ricky Ferguson, Carlton Hobbs, Frank Hobbs, David Avery, Ricky Mustard, and Ricky Thurington demonstrated their shooting skills. Sometimes there was a flare-up for the spectacular. It's David Avery with a dipsy doodle. It's Randy Turner behind the back to Avery, 4-2. Gerald Melton with a backhand layup. Teamwork always takes center stage. It's Mark Haley leading a fast break after a steal, finding Buck Hicks for a reverse layup. It's Haley finding Frank Hobbs who passes to Gerald Melt back to Haley for an easy two. It's Frank Hobbs setting up the offense, working the ball around for a Dale Farrington bucket. Buck Hicks finds Ricky Ferguson, who kicks it out to Carlton Hobbs, 4-2. Haley, on a fast break, finds Ferguson for an easy two. You can't play basketball unless you can play defense. It wouldn't be any fun playing on the dirt court without some bloopers. Sometimes it can be funny. Sometimes not. Just ask Tony Wilson and Buck Hicks. In the old days, there was nothing like spending a weekend on the dirt courts playing basketball. What made it special was the time and the friendship. Guys giving it all they had. Players like Charles May, Woody Brandon. Scott Carter, Dennis Hicks, David Peace, 
Steve Summers, Alan Daniels, Jamie Bone, Dennis Perry, Alan Dunham, Mike Buffalo, David Buffalo, and Kenny Ferguson. There was a special bond of friendship between the players, but playing outdoors on the dirt court made it even that much more special. Long live the dirt court.